Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Show Reviewkin, coming to you from the A Button Retro Game Bar in Akihabara. Today, we have an especially awesome episode, very metal indeed, because today we are reviewing Holy Diver for the Famicom, Ronnie James Dio inspired platforming action. Let's check it out. This is one of those games that I always bring up anytime someone says, that Irem was a shitty, low-tier developer back in the 8 and 16-bit era. For me, games like this, as well as Metal Storm, R-Type, Mr. Heli, Image Fight, and The Guardian Legend prove that Irem was just as capable as higher-regarded developers like Capcom and Konami of producing some great games in a variety of genres. They didn't always knock it out of the park, but I'd say they definitely released more good games than bad. Holy Diver is a game that is most commonly compared to Castlevania. In fact, some people write it off as being nothing more than a Castlevania knockoff, which I don't think is being entirely fair. There are definitely plenty of similarities in terms of the visuals, the gothic atmosphere, and the gameplay, both games being action platformers, but Holy Diver has enough unique features that it doesn't fall into strictly knockoff territory. If it is, then Streets of Rage is just a Final Fight knockoff, and Final Fantasy is just a Dragon Quest knockoff. Are they similar? Yes. Identical? Definitely not. The story of Holy Diver is one of my favorite aspects of it, pretty much just because I'm a lifelong heavy metal fan, and this game's plot is filled with references to heavy metal artists, bands, and songs. Even the name Holy Diver is taken directly from the Ronnie James Dio song of the same name. In fact, the game includes references to Ronnie being the Crimson King of the World of Magic and being the father of Randy and Zack, magic wards that he leaves in the care of the powerful wizard Ozzy, who trains them to fight the evil Black Slayer and bring light and goodness back to the realm. The plot of this game mirrors some of the epic metal songs of the day from groups like Man of War, Blind Guardian, and of course Dio, and that alone makes it pretty damn cool in my book. But a good story alone does not a great game make. You still need to have some enjoyable gameplay, and I think Holy Diver definitely does. Again, it has some similarities to Castlevania, mostly on a surface level, and as you can see, the platforming is quite similar. However, the jumping in Holy Diver is actually better because you can control your movement in mid-air, making it a little bit easier to navigate some of the trickier jumps, though you do also get knocked back whenever you take a hit, which will gravitate you to the nearest pitfall whenever possible. Instead of a physical weapon like a whip or a sword, Randy can hurl short-range fireballs as his basic attack, and by pressing up and the B button, you can fire at enemies coming from above you. The range isn't much better than Simon Belmont's whip, though, but it is pretty easy to rapid-fire and deal a lot of damage in short order. This is far from your only attack though, as you do gain access to a number of different magic spells as you progress through the game, and these include things like a long-range twin fireball, a high-powered energy blast, and a blizzard spell that not only freezes enemies in place, but also freezes lava flows, allowing you to safely pass. There are also hidden items scattered all throughout the game that can do things like increase your max HP and MP, as well as enhance your abilities, jumping higher and strengthening your basic attack. For example, there's even an item that lets you turn into a dragon for a brief period, allowing you to fly and shoot more powerful fireballs. So there's a lot more here in the gameplay department than just a Castlevania knockoff, but something it definitely does have in common with the classic Konami title is its difficulty. This game is brutal. It only consists of six stages, but each one will throw tons of enemies at you, some very tough platforming, and boss battles that will definitely test your metal. It can be quite frustrating at times, which for me is the biggest drawback here because otherwise, this is a solid action platformer with fun and challenging gameplay and more variety than you might expect. It's no Castlevania 3 or Ninja Gaiden, but I'd say it's a better than average platformer, definitely better than other Irem offerings at the time like Kid Nicky, Radical Ninja, and Hammer and Harry, for example. It's just too bad it has the reputation of being a knockoff when it's so much more than that. 
Another area where Holy Diver draws comparisons to Castlevania is in the visuals. And to be fair, it does look similar in particular. There is some use of gothic scenery, horror elements, and even a little bit of religious iconography, and Randy does at least somewhat resemble one of the Belmonts, but I think this game visually has more in common with a different Konami classic on the Famicom, and that's Getsu Fumaden with its monstrous looking enemies and creepy stages which are set mostly in caverns and other dank places adorned with corpses, skulls, and various other creepy things. This is for sure a decent looking game for its time. If nothing else, I like the stage designs and the enemy designs as well, especially some of the boss characters which have a bit more grotesque detail to them. Definitely not a bad looking game and the soundtrack, while it does inarguably have a few duds that sound pretty bad, it also features a few tracks that are exceptional. Here, have a listen. So, considering all aspects of this game, the fun and challenging, if fairly frustrating gameplay, the atmospheric but ultimately decent visuals, and the mixed bag that is the soundtrack, I'd say Holy Diver is definitely worth playing if you're a fan of 8-bit platformers. Again, it's not the best on the console, not by a long shot, but it's nowhere near even touching some of the worst. You might even call it a hidden gem if you were so inclined, and since reproduction carts have been in circulation for quite a while now, it shouldn't be too hard to find. It's Holy Diver, the only 8-bit game featuring Dio, Ozzy, Randy Rhodes, Zack Wilde, and Slayer. And that alone makes it awesome. So there you go, everybody. Holy Diver, very cool game. You can pick up reproductions for it now because the original is a pretty expensive game, so definitely go for those repros if you can. They're very cool. They come with full color manuals, cool box, and everything like that. Uh, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. Really great game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Come back for the next show review, can and stay metal. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more just like it, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and if you'd like to follow me on other social media, links are in the description to my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon, where you can receive things like Japanese snacks, manga, and video games in the mail every month. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.